escaped by the skin of his teeth, man. He scared the crap out of me, bro. <laughs> No! Man. Yeah. Thank goodness. Jeremy, you're invincible, man. <laughs> you are invincible. Jeez. <laughs> oh, dude. That's probably a couple like a couple times right there in the rock. The only time I didn't have the GoPro on too. Wow. Yeah. As long as that rock stays. <laughs> if this goes, this the Jeep goes. Doesn't go down. <laughs> right. Well, I'm going back this way, so it should be. How long's the tow? Uh, yeah, it should be. I got plenty of. Front, you want to go front rim? I think front rim. Okay. Yank on. Okay. All right, forward. You guys. Remember, we're on the spokes, so. You want to go under that rock or you want to go around it? I want to go over it. Under's not going to do anything. Go like this. Keep tight. Keep going tight. All right, we're tight. Nice and steady now. You got to the floor? Yeah. Really? You're in four love? We're going to try something different. You didn't have shoes on. He's at the beach. Dad, this is Steven. I see it. Hey, that's the beach power. What do you want to do for you next? Hey, you've got all the hacksaws. Yeah, you got the hacksaw. And you've got all the tools. Take off the pool. Steven's here. Hercules is here. Okay. Yeah, there's no way to get the hell out of here. Yeah. Anything we can do to help? You can just uh, lift the bike out, man. I mean, <laughs> 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 Dude, you want to just loosen these up? I got them all. Was this 13? That was 13, man. This is this is funny. So we, this was number 13 originally. Uh -huh. So we put 43 over it because we're like unlucky 13. We can't. Have it. <laughs> now it's under the mountain. <laughs> I'm glad everybody's okay. Yeah, that's that's what's important. Got out of the way before. Yeah, yeah, it's a miracle. Uh, the right shock down there is underneath that rock. Because if that one stayed extended. Well, this all slides out though. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm just saying, I think we can salvage the left side of the shock and the brake and stuff, but that's the right side. Salvage? I'm just saying, bring it back with this. Pull it out. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter what that was. <laughs> that one here. Can we try to separate these a little? A screwdriver. Just want a crescent wrench? Uh, you got a flathead? Do you want to put a rope on it now? There it is. Yeah. Pull it down. Pull that other shock out underneath the rock bolt. So, yeah, it's stuck on. Yep. Oh. Watch your hand, Jer. Keep, 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 keep going. Hey guys, look out. There's great. The bottom clamp screws. Let's put it back down and now I've got it in a different location. Can you take off the top bar? We can do that too. We take off this one, then the top comes off. There's a hammer in that one toolkit. I got a hammer. As soon as I get these. You want to rock? Yeah. These ones are good. This one's good. Yeah, we play Josh, if you hear rumbling, you roll, man. It's going up. Look at the top clamp. It's off already. It's all okay. All right, let's just yank it. Set that down and everyone get up. What? Bike. 
my truck to keep you. Yeah, I got both the back of the Oh, I just got more time. Yeah. One, two. There we go. Just there uh, go. pull. There you go. Pull. We just gotta get. Yo, go down this side. Alright, grab go, thing. Go down this side. Thing. So we're gonna put we're the back of our Jeep. Yeah, we're gonna uh, we'll throw the back of our Jeep again. We'll empty ours out and so see if you can pick it back in there if you want. Thank you. We appreciate it. Alright. You gotta cut this. Yeah. You wanna take a picture next to it? <laughs> <laughs> Room there, Poncho. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. There's two. Yeah, Actually, do we want to go tire first? Yeah. Well, we have, you, uh, you emptied it? Yeah. 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 Add on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. What was your name, man? I'm Logan. Logan. Aspen Adrenaline. Clutch, man. Clutch. <laughs> Saved Same our day. life. Man. <laughs> So I'm just back at the truck real quick, changing out of my boots back into my shoes. We're eating at the local diner, one of the only local diners in Mobile, Colorado. Um, we decided we wanted to take the guys from Aspen Adrenaline out to lunch, pay for their lunch. Those guys, absolutely phenomenal. They really got us out of a bind today. So unbelievably thankful. Um, I'm gonna post a link to their stuff down below. These guys really helped us out. Yeah. You're way taller, I can't. <laughs> the man. So we're heading out from the diner. Great people, it's been an absolute blast. About to take off. <laughs> we're just showing everybody the damage on the bike. It's pretty great. And then there was two. It could have been, because I could have been squashed. Oh, I could have been flipping squashed, squashed. <laughs> there would have been nothing left. Because you see where like the handlebars that we're on in relation to that rock, that whole rock would have covered me. The bike pushed you out of the way. Yeah. It pinned you, but it pushed you out of the way. Exactly. If it, well, if it wasn't for the bike, the bike saved me. Man, just a freak accident, you know? You just never know. So, there's always a lesson that can be learned from things. And whenever you're going out into remote areas, there's always a degree of risk. And you have to be prepared for that risk. And what you're going to do in various situations, if and when they arise, you have to know what you need to do. And the lesson specifically from this trip is, there's a lot of times that things happen that are out of your control, risk that's out of your control. I mean, having a mountain fall on top of your dirt bike is something that you don't, you don't plan for, you don't think about, and you, it's really a rare probability that something like that would happen. Fortunately, Jeremy is known for having you know, good reflexes, good situational awareness, and that's really what it comes down to. It's knowing your surroundings, knowing what your risks are, as minute as they might be, and the low probability stuff, understanding that those things can happen and in your mind, knowing what you're going to do in those situations is key. So that's the key takeaway from this trip. They say that a man can learn from his experiences, but a wise man learns from the experiences of others. So I really hope that this helps put that into some kind of perspective for you guys.